Hello friends, this is Aditya and you are watching Electric Vehicles India. Friends, today we are at the Fortune Toyota dealership which is located in Tolichoki, Hyderabad to review the recently launched hybrid car from Toyota which is called Toyota High Rider Urban Cruiser. So in this video, we are going to discuss deeply about this hybrid car. So watch the video till the end and if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. So friends, this is the recently launched Toyota High Raider Urban Cruiser Hybrid Car. So if we talk about this car, we actually have the two powertrains in this hybrid vehicle which is called Neo Drive and E Drive. Neo Drive is the mild hybrid and E Drive is the pure hybrid car. So currently we have the Neo Drive vehicle in front of us. First of all, we are going to look the exterior design of this Neo Drive and after this I am going to drive the pure hybrid car which is E Drive and I'll explain you how these hybrid cars run and what's the difference between the normal IC car and this hybrid cars so first of all if we look at the design of this Toyota high rider urban cruiser here we have this side indicator and LED DRLs integrated in the same light and under this we have the LED halogen headlamp and if we talk about the front designing part Toyota has updated their design of this hybrid car especially because here we see at the front they have highlighted the logo in the chrome and black elements under this we have the front camera and front number plate holder here we have the grill in the black finish and we have the bumper in carbon fiber finish if you talk about the ground clearance this toyota urban cruiser high rider is coming with a 206 mm ground clearance i think toyota is offering highest ground clearance in this segment and if you talk about the side part here we have 17 inch wheels with the diamond cut alloys so if you talk about the brakes all the four wheels are equipped with the disc brakes so that means the braking punch is going to be awesome and if we move further here we have side mirrors integrated with the led side indicators and here we have a camera also as this is the top end model we have the 360 degrees camera integrated in this and if we move further backward here we can see the side portion is completely managed with three color tones that is black chrome and blue it's looking awesome and really beautiful friends now let's move to the rear part and see how it looks here we have the petrol tank to fill the petrol as this is the hybrid vehicle you only need to fill the petrol because the battery charges itself automatically and while coming to the rear part here we have the taillight section and under this we have these side indicators and reflectors now let's open the boot space Friends, this is the boot of Toyota High Raider Urban Cruiser. As this is the mild hybrid version, we get the large boot space while compared to the E-Drive. Because in E-Drive, we get a large battery pack here that results to the decrease in the boot space in e drive version we get a boot space of 255 liters that means we need to compromise in the boot space if you want more mileage as you can see here they have embedded the urban cruiser high rider logo and at the right side we have neo drive logo so this is the exterior part of this toyota high rider urban cruiser hybrid car now let's drive this vehicle and see how it performs while driving how it can give maximum mileage while compared to the ic cars so guys this is the strong hybrid version of this toyota high rider urban cruiser hybrid car so as you can see here it's written as a hybrid that indicates it's a pure hybrid car now let's go to the bonnet part and i'll explain you what are all the elements present in this bonnet so as you can see this is the bonnet of this toyota high rider hybrid pure hybrid car here you can see this is the petrol engine and this is the ac motor which can be controlled with a 177 watts battery which is present in the boot space part so while talking about this petrol engine it's powered by a 1490cc three cylinder engine which can produce a 92 ps per and 122 newton meters of torque toyota is offering three years or one lakh kilometers warranty on this petrol engine and here comes the 82 horsepower ac synchronized motor which can produce a peak torque of 141 newton meters and toyota is offering eight years or 1.6 lakhs kilometers warranty on the battery which is present in the boot space while combining these two power trains it can produce Produce a power of 115 horsepower. Now let's drive this car and let's see how it can give a maximum mileage while combining these two power trains. Friends, this is the Toyota High Rider Urban Cruiser hybrid car. Now let's get it to the interiors and let's see how the interiors feel. Here you can see here is the hybrid badging that means it indicates this is the strong hybrid version. So I am hopping into the driver seat of this Toyota High Rider hybrid car. 
So this is the cockpit view of this Toyota Highrider. As you can see in the top end model, you get a HUD display, heads up display. In that you can see the information like speed, time and your average of this car. So this is the center console of this Toyota Highrider hybrid car. Here you can see it's indicating the ready symbol and EV symbol. As the car progresses, it switch between the petrol and EV based on your uh, driving conditions. So in the center console, you get the display like uh, infotainment system, any warnings, settings, photo and fuel economy all this kind of uh, information you can see in the driver dashboard and here comes the center console display of 12 inches by using this you can pair your device through apple carplay or android auto you can do settings as per your likings and you can see the power train like uh, how the power is generating through your battery and how it is charging back the battery so while driving the car i'll show you these information so if we come down here we have a hazard light switch here we have the ac vents here we have switches to control the ac and climate of the interiors of this car and here we have the traction control switch from here we can uh, turn off and turn on the traction control and here we have the 120 watts uh, port to charge our mobile phone and we also have the wireless charging along with this as this is the automatic car we don't get uh, manual gears we only get a uh, parking reverse neutral and uh, driving modes and behind this we have the buttons to switch between ev mode and drive mode and the top end of this car gets ventilated seats for driver as well as co-passengers by using these buttons you can control the ventilator seats and here we have the manual uh, handbrake button and here you can see the quality of the seats here i have the armrest and a small glove box along with the two cup holders so this is the interiors of this toyota hybrid urban cruiser as you can see it also gets a panoramic sunroof which can open up to 60 percent as you can see i open the sunroof now i'll close the sunroof with a single touch so now i'm closing the sunroof with a single touch as you can see so the top end version of this Toyota Highrider Urban Cruiser gets a panoramic sunroof. All the interiors are designed by using this brown and black colors. So the leather quality is also so good. I am decently impressed with that. Now let's go to the rear seat and see how rear seat comfort feels. So friends, this is the rear seat of this Toyota Highrider Urban Cruiser. As you can see, the rear seat also is designed with brown and black interiors. So this is the legroom of a passenger seat. I adjusted the driver seat according to my height. My height is 5.5. And if I sit at the back, this is the amount of legroom I can get. And while talking about the headroom, uh, as you can see, this is the headroom I am getting. The person who is 6 feet tall also can easily comfortably sit in this Toyota Highrider Urban Cruiser's rear passenger. So here we have the armrest with uh, two cup holders. By closing this, a third person can also sit easily here. If you are a thin person, four persons can also easily fit in this Toyota Highrider's back seat. So as I also mentioned, the quality of these seats and the touch feelings of these doors is uh, decently impressed me. So now let's start the car and discuss remaining things while driving it. Guys, now we are in the driver cabin of this Toyota Highrider Urban Cruiser strong hybrid car. Now I am going to drive this car and I will explain you how this hybrid system actually works. Now we are in the parking mode. As you can see, it is showing the ready symbol and along with the EV symbol. So while starting this car, it starts in the EV mode. So to start the driving, we have to switch from parking mode to driving mode. So before driving the vehicle, I will show you the reverse mode as this vehicle is equipped with a... 360 degrees camera so as you can see so guys this is the 360 degree camera so we can monitor the surroundings with the help of this 360 degrees camera okay so now let's keep this vehicle in the driving mode and let's start the driving guys we have started the toyota high rider urban cruiser hybrid cars so no phones connected please connect and so as you can see currently we are running in the ev mode in the display it clearly shows we are in the ev mode so while starting from the zero speed we'll start from the ev mode so so as you increase the speed it switches between the petrol engine and your electric motor so currently i am in the 20 speed i increase the speed so as you can see here in the center console the energy is flowing from the petrol engine to our ev battery so it's charging the ev battery so i'm accelerating the car up to a 60 speed so now the car is in the 60 speed 
and you can see here the energy is flowing to the battery this indicates the battery is recharging itself through regenerative braking and if i accelerate the car in the high speeds the powertrain automatically shifts to the petrol mode as the petrol engine has the highest power by compared to this uh, electric motor so basically what happens means that the car initially starts in the ev mode so as the speed is increasing it automatically switches the powertrain to the petrol engine so as you can see now i am in the 49 speed and the energy is flowing from the battery that means now it's running on the ac motor along with the battery as i gradually increase the speed the petrol engine kicks in and the power flows to the battery back so like this depending upon your driving conditions the hybrid vehicle works as a ev vehicle as well as the petrol vehicle so here in the center console it clearly shows on which powertrain your vehicle is running currently so currently i released my foot from the accelerator the power is regenerating to the battery so like this the battery charges itself and gives energy to the 80 horsepower motor which is inserted in the front so as i accelerates the battery gives power to the ac motor so when i brakes also the battery automatically charges through the regenerative braking so friends this is how an hybrid car works on the petrol as well as electrics so by this video i think you have clear all your doubts on hybrid cars like how it works like uh, to give the maximum output so the company claimed mileage of this toyota high rider urban cruiser hybrid car is 28 km per liter but in the real city life conditions it will give you a real mileage of 24 to 27 km per liter by using both this ev powertrain as well as the petrol powertrain so this is how an hybrid car works while coming to the power figures uh, the basic version the basic hybrid version start from a 19 lakh rupees and goes up to a top end variant of 24 lakh rupees on road here in hyderabad so if anyone wants to test ride or book this vehicle i'll give you the contact details and address of this uh, fortune toyota showroom which is located in tolichoke hyderabad in the description below so feel free to contact them if you are interested in this hybrid car so that's it for today's video guys so what's your thoughts on this toyota hybrid car please let us know in the comment section please like this video and don't forget to subscribe the electric vehicles india see you in an other interesting video until then go green go electric